New at 4.30, chemical manufacturer 3M is being forced to pay out more than $10 billion to settle lawsuits over contaminated public drinking water. Some claim the systems were tainted with so-called forever chemicals, which have been linked to major health problems such as cancer. The money will be paid out over 13 years to any cities that detect those substances. Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Roach is here to talk about this massive settlement. All right, so Khalif, for one, a lot of us have heard of PFAS, but many of us haven't. So what exactly are they? Yeah, these forever chemicals, they were invented in the 80s and the 90s. And so even if you haven't heard of them, you've probably seen them um, because they're everywhere. They're in our carpets. They're in a lot of household goods. But specifically, they're in our nonstick pans if you use them um, because it repels water and oil. And so they're everywhere around us. But it's pretty damning in this lawsuit. What specific allegations? Allegations are being made against 3M here. They're, they're saying that 3M knew that there these PFAS that there's like 9,000 plus types of PFAS that as they were developing them for different uses, they figured out that listen, they knew that there were body um, deformities that were being used from these. There were ca uh, cancer that was being caused from this, and that there there were um, other things leaking into the water. And so the allegations were you all, all knew of it and did nothing to prevent that from occurring. Yeah. So 3M did have a statement. Uh, that was uh, before the settlement, and they said, as the science and technology of PFAS, societal and regulation, regulatory expectations of our expectations of ourselves have evolved, so has how we manage PFAS. What do you make of that? Oh, I think, obviously, if you've been sued for the last 20 years um, and regulatory has changed and people's opinions have changed and folks have actually gotten hurt from your product, it would think that it would seem like your position would change. And so I think their positions change because um, it's pointing to the direction where it's going to cost you way more to continue to keep fighting this. Because early on, they just wouldn't respond. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't answer. They say, we can beat you in court and we can pile money on top of you for decades. But now regulatory has stepped in. The EPA has now said we have to test these things. Um, states are trying to fight back, but on the federal side, the regulations, I think, are matching up to and, and they're trying to get in front of it as much as you could if you've been 20, 20 decades behind. Yeah, and we know that a lot of this happens from a 3M plant. So even if you don't have one of those in your area, you think you're all good. But are there other companies that also use PFAS? Definitely. So, I mean, you, you got DuPont, you got Comores. And so those folks have just had a settlement, a billion dollars almost a year ago. And so these these PFAS are, are everywhere. And folks for sure need to be aware of them. And North Carolina is right in the middle, right there in Fayetteville. DuPont was there. And they were alleged to be dumping the water right into Cape Cape Fear uh, uh, River. So those PFAS and these companies are, are are damaging the community, and these settlements are at least a sure sign that someone's taking accountability for the actions. Accountability. That done. What's great is the education about what we're getting down for the average consumer right. that is out there and the person uh, in the United States. Khalif Rhodes, as always, thank you.